What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Trevify here, and in today's brand new video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to level up your weapons insanely fast in shipment 24-7, which just came out as of today, December 14th. Now it is like 10 or 11 o'clock at night, so this is going to be posted more than likely on the 15th, because I'm probably going to render it all out, post it on YouTube, and just schedule it for tomorrow, but this came out on the 14th. And I believe we're going to have this map until February of 2023. So we'll have this map for a few months, um, just like we had Shoot House for a little while. Now, I did buy this game like a month and a half after it originally completely got released. So I'm not exactly caught up with the camos or the level or anything of the sorts. But I'm getting there and I'm playing a pretty decent amount. And I do want the Master Camos. I'm not a huge fan of Orion or however you want to say it. I've heard people say it very various ways um i do like the polyatomic one though and i'm definitely going for that however i'm going to be showing you guys like i said before how to level up your weapons extremely fast um for instance i leveled up the oh uh, where's that i had it in here the p90 the pdsw i got it from level 4 to level 30 in four games and i got gold on it uh i think it took me like eight games um or I, th I think it was eight games because I kept getting games that, that would last like I get five kills and the game was over. But essentially, you're going to level up your weapons so fast. And if you're using SMGs, assault rifles or weapons that are going to be a lot easier to get your kills with, um, as long as the camo challenges are pretty easy, you're more than likely going to not only level up your weapon, but also get your gold camo in probably an hour and a half at the most. Um, now, like I said, that's probably going to be for your weapons that are a little bit easier to use. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it and I'll show you guys what exactly you need to do for this method and, um, how to do it most efficiently. All right. So for starters, we're going to want to make a loadout and you're going to want to call it XP farm because this is going to be useful for every weapon in the game and it's going to be useful outside of shipment. It'll be less efficient um but it'll still be useful so we're gonna make a loadout called xp farm and then once we're in here we're simply gonna want to pick our primary weapon so say i want to level up the uh i don't know i haven't used a lot of the rifles let's say i want to use the tac 5 6 so we're gonna equip this tune it however um tune it accordingly and uh, if you can't tune it, that's perfectly fine because the whole purpose of this is to level it up. Now, your secondary. This can be anything. Um, do not use your secondary unless it is what you are primarily leveling up. Do not use it. And if this, if you're primarily leveling up secondary weapons, I would just suggest you run a riot shield because if you're leveling up your secondaries, do not use your primaries. Only use one or the other. I'll explain why here in a second. But like I said before, I would just run a knife. Um, don't use your secondaries. Only use your primary. It is what you're trying to level up. Only use your primary. Um, then, decoy grenade. This is essential. You need to run the decoy grenades. Uh, your lethal, on the other hand, it can be whatever you want. I just I like to run either the Semtex or the Thermite on shipment because there's a lot of riot shield backpackers running around, and it can be rather difficult to kill them. Um, with simply just a weapon. So I like to run that. Typically I'll run the drill charge though because it is uh, probably one of the best lethals in the game at the moment. And then we're going to be running a custom perk package. And you're also going to want to name this XP farm. Now this can be tweaked accordingly. Um, I'll explain here in a second what I mean by that. Just because we're playing shipment. So you're definitely going to want to run. Going to want to run extra tactical. Um, reason for this. You're running decoy grenades. What the decoy grenade does is you're going to throw them around the map. Typically, I throw mine where the enemies are, where my team is, like down at my feet, and one in the middle of the map. Now, by doing this, you are not only putting a dot on the like HUD in the UAV, which is going to literally confuse your enemies, but you're also going to be getting decoy distraction XP on your screen. And that XP, I don't know for sure if it counts for your player XP, but I do know for a fact it counts for your weapon XP. So if you keep throwing these around, say you just keep throwing all three and dying, 
you will still level up your gun because whatever gun you're holding, when you get that distraction XP, it goes towards that, which is why I'm saying do not run your secondary weapon whatsoever. Um, if you run out of ammo, like I'm about to say here in a second, you should be perfectly fine. Um, on that note, I like to run scavenger, whether I'm playing quick match, shoot house, uh, that sort of thing. Scavenger is really good because you're going to run out of ammo when you're going for a lot of double kills, when you're going for three kills without dying, that kind of thing. You're going to be running out of your ammo. So scav is almost essential, but since we're playing shoot house, you're going to be dying every five seconds or so more than likely. So scav, I would, I would probably suggest still running it, but it can be changed out. I would probably only run overkill, double time, Battle Hardened, Bomb Squad, or maybe even Strong Arm. Tracker's not going to be helpful. There's going to be constant surveillance um, in the, uh, like, what is it called? I don't know, the alias above. There's going to be a lot of UAVs, and a lot of players aren't shooting them down um, unless they're working on launchers, which I haven't encountered a whole lot of. Um, but, yeah, I would probably just run, like, Battle Hardened or Bomb Squad. There's a lot of players that will just chuck flash grenades like crazy, um, Semtexes, etc., but I would just probably recommend running scav so that you have a constant flow of ammunition. Then we're going to be running hardline. This is also essential. This is going to reduce your kill streak cost by one whole kill, which can be essential. Kill uh, UAVs and stuff are a whole kill less. Also, uh, score streak is what we're aiming for, and it's going to cost 125 less for your court for your score streak. I cannot talk tonight. Um, and then on that note, we're going to be running overclock for the ultimate. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to increase your field upgrade charge rate by 40%. So you're going to get it a lot faster once this kicks in. And that is also going to be essential. Now, for your field upgrade, we're going to be running DDoS and only DDoS because if you run two field upgrades, then you not only click your field upgrade uh, button uh, once, but you're going to have to click it twice. You're going to have to click it and then click another button to select one, and that's going to take too long. So simply just equipping DDoS is perfect because we can just click the button and activate it. Now what this does is this is another passive XP income way, uh, just like the distraction XP we talked about a minute ago. Simply by popping this, you are going to scan the area with an electromagnetic pulse, and you're going to blast whatever has been planted, whatever players are nearby, that sort of thing. And you're going to fry it, and you're going to get XP for that. So, especially on shipment, this is really good. If you run out in the center of the uh, map, or even just kind of sneak up on enemies and blast it, you get a ton of XP, and just like with the decoys, this XP is going to count towards the weapon you are currently holding and running around with. So, like I said before, Make sure you're not running around with the secondary out unless that's what you're aiming to level up. Um, and then that's pretty much all you're going to need for your loadout. And with all of that being said, I'll jump into some gameplay. I'll show you guys what exactly I do, what exactly you should aim for, and how to use this loadout most uh, in the most uh, productive way possible. Alright, so here I am in game, and I don't have a double XP token, so I'm just going to throw these around. I'm just going to kind of try and stay alive, and as you can see, decoy distraction. Decoy distraction. We're getting free XP here simply by throwing these down. Um, as you can see, I am completely folding right now because I'm half asleep. I'm just, I don't even have a double XP token pop because I don't want to play for that long. I'm just kind of looking to wrap up this video, edit it, and... Uh, rendered out everything, which I know is going to take forever, and you know, I'm looking forward to going to bed. But as you guys can see, I'm getting decoy distraction uh, like crazy. I leveled up the weapon already. I think it was like halfway leveled up, but as you can see, here we go, DDoS. And the DDoS didn't actually count. That's the thing with the DDoS, is it is super inaccurate. It'll tell you that there's stuff nearby when there isn't, and... Will tell you, it won't tell you when there's stuff nearby, but as you can see, I'm just getting a ton of XP for assists. Yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just getting a constant passive income flow with XP simply from throwing these decoys around everywhere. And the really cool thing about this is, like I said before, you can just keep dying every two seconds because half the time you're going to spawn right in uh, enemy's sight of line. 
and you're gonna get XP from it. So as you can see, I'm just checking around. That dude was blind. As you can see, I'm just getting constant XP. So I like to just kind of throw them around the middle. Typically, I'll throw them down at my feet so that like my teammates and stuff around me will count towards it. And I'll throw it in the center of the map because it's the center of the map. So there's definitely going to be like combat over there. I was kind of rushing when I made this since it's kind of late. I'm trying to render this out and get it on YouTube and everything so it can be uploaded by tomorrow. I completely forgot to say huge shout out to Game Leap Call of Duty Guides, which is the guy I watched for this exact like setup and everything. And I watched it like a week or two ago, I think it was. And this method still works really, really well. So huge shout out to him. And also, while uh, before you pop a two times double XP token or a double weapon XP token, you should also consider popping a normal double XP token because you'll also level up your actual like persona a ton in the meantime of also leveling up your weapons.